Hey guys, it's Rob from back at you one more again. If this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome, namaste, love and blessings to you. And please, if you do me the honor, and please like and subscribe, hit that notification button. And even at the end of the video, you can go ahead and drop me a comment if you feel free. And even press the bell on the notification side so you will know when I'm about to upload my next video. And please like and subscribe. And if you are a returning sub, as always, thank you for the support. Namaste to the to the new and to the return. And love and blessings. And today my video is about Twin Flame 101. Signs to know you're having a major shift in your life for the good. Um, today I'm listening to Cool Breeze and Neo Soul. Um it's like an hour and a half of different, you know, R&B uh, beats and everything, um, which is very relaxing. I'll go ahead and put the link down below. And hope everybody's doing blessed today. Um, today, my video, guys, it's just like when we're going through so many different things, um, and you you could have a goal set for yourself. I really don't like saying goals, but you know, we we all have them. Um, that we want something to go on in our life. And there are sometimes we have, um, basically we'll pay attention to the main thing that we want in life and not pay attention to the stuff that's going on around us. That could be giving us the signs every day that we have, we're having a major shift in our life. So something big and important is about to happen to you. And what, what signs I'm going to give you, because I had to redo this video <laughs> because I forgot the numbers that I, how many you know, I was going to say, um, and first of all, before I get ready to do that, I want to give a big, big ups to my sister from another mister, uh, Norma Brookins. Uh, she has a Facebook page that where she does all this beautiful makeup for good bundles, for good prices, for different complexions, pigments, whatever, and they're all natural. They're all natural. So, you know, some people are allergic to certain things or whatever, and some people don't like having different chemicals or whatever on their faces. But she does these excellent, you know, um, different bundles and stuff with, you know, uh, eyeshadow, lipstick, you know, foundation, all that stuff. So, um, her, her website on Facebook is www.normabrookins, is N-O-R-M-A, B R O O K I N S dot com at internally, I think it's no, internally young, unique. unique. Um, I'll go ahead and put all that down in the description below. If you have a Facebook, um, you can go ahead and hit her up. You know, the holidays are coming up. You know, I know a lot of ladies um, view view my videos. So, you know, hit my girl up. You know, you might find something that you like, you know, or even you have a sister or aunt or mom that you might want to get some, you know, for a birthday or, pre you know, Christmas is coming up. So you might want to hook that up. So I, was, I told my girl I was going to go ahead and do that for her. So I went ahead. Um, but back to what I was saying, um, there's different signs to know that things are going on. That's number one. You'll start supporting all your friends that, you know, the ones that are there for you, don't ever worry about the ones that are not there for you. Concentrate on the ones that are supporting you and you always make sure you support them back because, you know, it give and take, you know, whatever you push out to the universe, you want that back. So it's just like you do, you do selfless giving. So that's, a, a, that's number one that you do. Number two. You're not going to be worried about what people think or say about you. It can be people coming at you stupid and you're like, uh, okay, <laughs> that's how you feel. All right. That's another one. You're, you're not going to worry about what people say or what people do because you're going to put your energy on more on positive things, on positive things. Because you don't have time to be worried about what people say, what, you know, because they're going to be some Debbie Downers. They're going to be some Debbie Downers. And you just don't need to have time to deal with that. You always focus your energy on things that you want good to happen to you. Because when you start focusing on the negative stuff, that will push you way back. And I've done it. I've done it because that ego in the back of your mind be like, hey, you know you forgot about me. I'm like, no, the hell I didn't. Bye. <laughs> no, I didn't. I did not. And then when any time a, like a negative thing comes in your mind, just say, I cancel that. And replace it with something that you want to happen. Like you'll see yourself like, um, like you want to buy a house or something like that. You start, I, I noticed that I know I'm ready to move. I've been seeing these beautiful houses all on Facebook or I'll go past somebody's house. And I'm like, oh my God, their house is just so beautiful. 
and you'll start seeing things like that so it's meant for you is it feels like deja vu so it's just like basically when it comes to that higher power it's like like i've said in other videos we are playing our own movie we're playing our own role in our own movie because we have done this before it might seem like there's something that you have done before like you'll be doing like whoa wait a minute this is deja vu okay then number three you'll start finding coins all over the place i've noticed that you'll find uh, pennies you'll find dimes but you're never supposed to you know put it in your pocket but when you get home go ahead and put it in a special place like a little jar or something you start collecting them and then it, it, it's just like you're you're you know the angels and the universe is like blessing you and it's supposed to be a very special thing i forgot why they said go ahead and put it in a jar but it, you're supposed to go ahead and do that so that's number three number four you'll start finding feathers you'll start finding feathers but with the coins, it's like an infinite abundance. You'll start seeing these. And the synchronicities. You'll start seeing a lot of sevens. A lot of sevens. I don't know what is specifically important about this number, but you'll start seeing a lot of sevens. Or you'll start seeing triple and double numbers. Like, I could be driving down the road, and I'll see these cabs outside, and it has all threes on it. Or I'll see some with all sevens on it. <laughs> or I'll get, you know, you'll see it on the radio, license plate, TV, your phone. Just anywhere. Or somebody will just repeat a number and it's just that. And it's just like you'll have this burst of energy. Like especially with people dealing with depression like I used to and still do. We still battle with depression on certain things. You know, sometimes we don't feel like getting out of bed in the morning. Sometimes, you know, people don't feel like showering, brush your teeth, whatever. You'll feel this burst, burst of energy like you want to clean up your house. You want to go walking. You want to go dancing and stuff like that. So it's just like when you have that stuff, you'll just... You'll just get a burst of energy, and that's good. Your dreams. Your dreams will start telling you a lot of things. It's just like with mine, I had dreams like I was going through an apocalypse. And I was like, oh, my God, you know, I, I had to get on my knees and pray. I'm like, oh, my gosh, I don't want to deal with this no more. You know, please, you know, I, what do I got to give up? What do I got to do? You have to give up all the negative things. Because even though you might not be thinking about it, it's still in the back of your subconscious. So when I did that, I meditated a lot. I meditated an awful lot. It's just, you got to clear the cords. And there's sometimes you'll be wanting to find out things, but you feel like there's a block. Then there usually is. So it's just like if you, you know, I put uh, number 10, um, what is it? 10, I, I forgot which one it was, but it's 10 something, 10 of cups ministries. That's what it's called with the number 10. They, Sonia, she has, she's a twin flame and she does very good uh, meditations which will clear out a lot of things you'll start feeling chills you know you go through different emotions like you'll you'll feel all your your emotions like past memories will come up and it'll, you'll feel a lot of chills you'll feel a lot of chills coming up and it's just really crazy and it's just like sometimes I'll be sitting up here boo -hoo, you'll be really sensitive to a lot of things and it's just like it feels like you're closer to God you know like you're doing you want to go out in the world and just go do all these positive things and when you have these inspirations, you're always supposed to write them down. Even though it might not be something that you're trying to create right now, but you never know. It might connect with what you're going through. So you write them down, and then it's just like, wait a minute. You have this. You make sure you document everything. Like me, I don't like to write too much. Um, so I just go ahead and do video diaries. So you can even do that because you never know. It might play up how, you know, you, you'll be, you can go back and just like, you know what? This happened, and I remember that. So you make sure you do that. And I forgot what number I'm on, but um, you'll start finding feathers. You'll see your spirit totems, like me and Norma's is uh, dolphins, which my dad, you know, his is dolphins too. And they play a significant part in your life. You'll start seeing swans or something like that if you're a twin flame. Then you'll know that you're getting close to things. Um, and it, let me see what else. And then you'll have deja vu. It's just like, you know, you could be looking for a job and you end up bumping into a friend that you haven't seen in years. It's like, hey, you know, I ain't seen you in a long time. I'm like, oh, girl, I ain't seen you either. Oh, God, you know, I ain't seen you in this long. And then it's just like, what you been up to? It's like, oh, I'm trying to find me a job. And just so happen your friend's a manager at a, a good paying job. And they're like, hey, you know, come on in and do an application. And you never know. That could be the universe just providing you that. You could, you know, and it could just be by accident. You could have stubbed your toe or something like that. And you need to go get, you know, get like med medicine or something like that. You end up bumping into somebody. You never know. And it's just like with synchronicities, you, you'll, you'll stop thinking about negative things. You'll stop caring about what people say. 
um, you're going to have ideas that, that is going to better your life. You'll start seeing all these things. And that's pretty much it. That's all I can tell you. But, it, you know, it's just like you'll start seeing these. Oh, yes. And you'll get a burst of happiness. You don't know where it's coming from. Where it's coming from, but you will feel like there is something good about to happen. You'll just get a burst of energy where you want to just jump up in the air and just start acting silly, but you don't know the reason why, but you know there's something good about to happen to you. So you keep that. You keep that thought in your head. You don't know when it's going to happen. You'll stop worrying about when it's going to happen because you know the universe is not going to go on your time. It's going to go on theirs. When they feel like it's that perfect time for you to get your true blessing. But just be grateful for all the little things that you get along the way until you get to that point. And when you get to that point, you still be grateful because they can always take it back. So you don't want to be like one of those people to just get it and then you're like, Psh, whatever. They will take it back. Trust me. So very, be very humble on every blessing that they give you. And anytime when you get up in the morning, say the three grateful things, things that you're grateful for. And then the next day you, you, you add on more and you add on more. You know, I ask God, you know, thank God every day. Thank you for waking me up this morning because you didn't have to. You know, thank you for letting me be able to go outside and see the beautiful animals outside. Let me be able to hear the, the cars going back and forth. Because there's a lot of people that can't he hear or see. So I'm grateful for all the senses that I have. And um, that's pretty much it. So uh, I hope that was able to help you guys out when you're feeling like, oh my gosh, when is my blessing going to come? Don't concentrate on that. You you keep that in there, in, you know, that thought process. But just recognize all the things that's going on around you for the universe to let you know something good is about to come out on your life you're going to come out on top and make sure you say your affirmations and think positive positive. and anytime you think something negative just say cancel that and replace it with something better you, you put your thought process on something else that's positive that's going to happen for your life because when you start thinking about them positive them negative things it's going to keep repeating itself and repeating itself and repeating itself until you learn your lesson so, I'm not trying to hold you guys up today. I hope you stay blessed and prosperous. And I will talk to you later. Much love, peace, and be wild. And please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know I'm about to upload my next video. And even drop a comment if you feel free. And I will talk to you later. Much love and many blessings to you. Peace. Be wild. This is an original experimental.